Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we're going to do a bit of a good old fashioned fish shop tour. It's going a bit of a road trip. So, let's go. Reese, why Fishman Aquatics? What made you choose this place, this store? Um, why are you not just a hobbyist out of your kitchen like you used to be? I, I was a hobbyist for a long time and then I got kind of quite serious into it. There was a black ghost knife fish that I just kind of fell in love with and that was that one fish that everyone has, that one fish. Mm. That was mine. And then I started doing courses while I was working at just normal retail and then I moved and got a job at TMC and then got another job in another place and I was running that fish room um, pretty much for the staff like two and a half years and then I was like I can do this my way better and then the missus spurred me on because they had loads of breeding tanks in the kitchen so you got where you start and then Fishman Aquatics was partially born as an idea and it became a reality. So you've been going three years and a couple of weeks it'll be? It's going in a to couple be of weeks, yeah. The worst three years for any new business to start, probably. Yeah, it's been things that have been on. What's your USP? Why, why has Fishman Aquatics worked and still here? Uh, I think it's not because. So many others have failed. And, yeah. uh, I think it's just because uh, we're real. Like, we don't try and force things, we don't try and be something that we're not. We just. Like, we have. Like, I encourage the staff to put their personality, personality into things, and it's not just a case of. This is how I want you to be. Be a robot for this company, yeah. and we just we like to be unique but comfortable and friendly and like just that person that you're comfortable talking to. I think that's what it is. I think it's not what we do as a shop; it's the people that are in the shop. I didn't have a website at the time, and Callum came up to me and told me that I needed one, and sold himself to me. And then one thing led to another. He had a bit more time on the shop floor, and then social the, the social media for Fishman Aquatics was born and. That yeah, is Callum. I wanted to ask you about that. You're doing really well. You've got some of the bigger names in the industry to come and have chats with you and Fishman Chats. You're definitely going downhill now with me coming up shortly. No, you're the one that started it all, essentially. It's your fault that we do this. So how did you do that? Did you just say, screw it, I'm going to just ask them? Or did you come up with the strategy? I know that... No, no, pretty much it was just, screw it. I'll just ask. I mean, the thing is, they can only ever say no. Um, yeah, that's exactly. that. Um, I mean, they're not going to start coming round to your house and laughing at you, are they? So... You just send an email or a message or something, and then if they like the idea, they'll say yeah. If they don't, yeah. they won't. Some of them, like especially in the season one thing, it was the sending things out to people, yeah. and we'll do it in a comfortable environment, a comfortable way, where it is just like two friends at the pub talking about how things happened. That was the whole idea of how I wanted it to be, not like an interview, just a as it's called a chat. A chat. Yeah, and. You know, it's really worked, and like I say, I've got people asking me now to do collaborations and be part of podcasts, and it's weird. Any exclusives? Um, we're doing more. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. We just do. That's the our main thing because it's the quiet time in the industry anyway. Um, we're just going to be focusing on the videos and the social media side. Yeah. While it's quiet upstairs, um, it gives us more time to do it properly now than if we were busier. Talk about the plan for season three. And it's not that quiet. Three. We've had loads of people in today. It's, it's quiet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, the plans for season three. Um, we are actually planning on going around to places. So, Fishman Chats will be on the road from season three. It's two um, of us. Drippies. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do the whole lot. The whole shebang. Yeah, we're going to go on the road. It's not just going to be sensors. We're going to go to other shops. Um, we're going to go to fish rooms. So, hopefully yours is built by season three. Uh, it depends when you start it. <laughs> I don't know, we've not finished season two yet. <laughs> we've still got dates to be booked in for season two. I have a small budget assigned for building of my fish room, so it's just... When we get in, everything's there except for the fish room. We've got the money, we've got the will, just need to actually get it done. I, mean, I hope you do, because then we'll go to the cock-in. 
Yeah, oh well I won't live next to the cock in anymore. Oh, that's a good point. But I'll still take you there. Yes. Bit of cock in action, we'll be there. <laughs> Edit. Edit. <laughs> um, so last question. Um oh god, I thought of a decent question there, I can't remember what it was. So if you wanted to say one thing to your prospective customers about Fishman Aquatics, whether it's about the social media side, the shop itself, or the videos and plans, what would you tell them? Where should they go and why should they go to you? There's the website, um, which is just fishmanaquatics.co.uk. It's probably the, one of the easiest websites to use in the trade as well. Um, there's the Instagram, which I, I think it's just Fishman Aquatics. Facebook and YouTube, yeah, just search Fishman Aquatics on them all and you'll find us. Um, why they should choose us, in the most blunt way, for why people should come to Fishman Aquatics is because I mean, we're not going to bullshit you. That's, that's pretty that much it. Yeah. Um, we're not going to try and sell you a million products to finish algae. We'll try and tackle the source of the problem rather than the short, quick fixes. That's, that's probably one of the biggest things in terms of local competition is we're not just there to sell your products, we're there to help you look after your animals. And that's, I guess, a moral standpoint that will serve you well in the future as well. Yeah, yeah, so it's building the reputation before trying to build the sales. I mean, you can always try and build the sales straight away and lower your reputation, but then you've got to claw back that reputation. Yeah. Whereas if you build the reputation, yes, it's a longer journey. And yeah, it's not a, it's not the quick book, but it long term it kind of pans out much healthier that you've been the best since the start. Right, so with that, let's go and have a look around the shop. Oh, first, I'll show you the studio setup. So, shortly, we're about to start filming Fishman Chats episode... Uh, season 2, episode 3. Season 2, episode 3. Round I 2, with uh, Aquarium Adventure. And I think I get to the first person to try out the new um, OnlyFans set that we've got down here. Then we've got Callum over here in his editing studio. And that's where Reese normally does his live streams and things from. And a little dedicated studio. I'm totally jealous about this. And then upstairs is the main shop.
So there you go, that was Fishman Aquatics over in Oldham. I'll leave some links down in the description. You can find their website, uh, their YouTube channel. Go and check them out, subscribe. Um, I spent the whole day there, so thanks to Reese, Callum and Courtney. We made a few videos, hopefully you'll get to see them come out on their channel, but if not, I shall post links to them. Hopefully they're quite funny, see my acting talents coming to the fore. Um, but yeah, go and check them out, they're doing some good stuff. Uh, I think they would appreciate a little subscribe. Um, as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.